This is the second lecture in the series of lectures about optimizing OCT in a busy glaucoma practice. And the lecture title is called Machine and Patient Setup, The Devil is in the Detail. And that really is the key to good image acquisition. We have to start off by asking ourselves, what is the purpose of having yet more technology? What is the purpose of OCT in our busy clinical practices? And really, quite simply, it's an adjunctive tool helping us to make better decisions. So in order to acquire good data, we need to start off by good communication. This was discussed in the first lecture. And in my team, we use an instruction pro forma. So at the top, you'll have the patient details. And then the second section is the scan protocol. So all of my patients have a horizontal and vertical foveal scan. And this really is important for looking at a, for occult subtle pathology. We then have the option of retinal nerve fiber layer acquisition or full retinal thickness 61 line posterior pole acquisition. And we usually do both on most patients. We do have the option of asking for other types of imaging, depending on what we're trying to look for. We always record if the patient's got a high refractive error, as it can sometimes be extremely difficult to acquire images, for example, in high myopia. It would be pretty usual for us to use local anaesthetic and lubricants to optimize the ocular surface. And later on in the lectures, I'll show just how much this can distort the images if you don't address the ocular surface. And again, we'll routinely dilate the patient to get the best images. At the bottom of the instruction pro forma, we let our technician know in advance if they're going to need to schedule more time for the patient. So for example, systemic issues like wheelchair, CVA, obesity, tremor, skeletal problems, or ophthalmic problems such as ptosis, severe blepharospasm, or fixation problems, all of which are going to double the image acquisition time. So here's a true scenario for you. A colleague of ours had a patient who was very keen to enhance his own glaucoma care, and so bought himself an OCT. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.